Oh. Upper level of the seating. Hold on. Alright. All right. We're on the upper level of the seating area. They're about upper level, they're roughly 1,700 seats on this upper level. They are actually closer to the, the playing surface than the back row of the, the uh, lower bowl. So you're, you're actually closer to the action. This is one of the best seats in the house is the upper level. On the uh, event court, there'll be 1,500 student seats. Uh, surrounding three sides of the, of the playing court, so the, the noise will be tied in onto the court with the student section there. On the east side is uh, 450 courtside club seats with premium seats for there. They have their own lounge in the uh, back underneath the stands. Above that is the scholarship level seating, uh, which has its own scholarship lounge on the main concourse. So it's just everything's real tied in. Everything, you, you get up out of your seat, go to the concession stands, and you're still watching the game, still see the main scoreboard all the time, won't lose it. So it's not like Beard Eves where you, you leave, you go to the concession stand, you might as well be going somewhere else in Lake County. And, uh, so uh, it'll be great amenities for the fans. There's a full kitchen in the facility, so that we're going to be, the concession stands won't be just hot dogs, popcorn, Cokes, things like that, we'll be full, serving a full menu at the concession stands. Just talk in general about how it's gone since you started. Has it gone as well as you would have Oh, it has gone great. The contractor, uh, Bill Harbor, working with our construction manager, Robinson Morton, uh, has been phenomenal. We're ahead of schedule right now, uh, which is unusual for an Auburn project. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's gone really good. We've not run into anything unexpected. Uh, they've worked real well with the architect and the university, and uh, like I said, we're ahead of schedule. The first uh, roof trusses will come in next week, and you'll see start to see the roof on the building, and we'll be dried in sometime the first part of the summer. Uh, still scheduled for occupancy in July of 2010. Has there been anything, any, anything that's been unexpected, that's been a, any kind of unexpected glitches? Yeah, unexpected has been positive though. We've actually, uh, the, the things like when you when you put the caissons in, we have uh, 140 caissons that go in this facility. You're never real sure how far you're gonna have to drill down. And it's actually, we had to drill down less than we expected. So we actually got money back from the contractor on that. And uh, so the things that have gone unexpected have gone in our favor versus gone against us really. Any other questions? Any uh